Welcome back, PHS. I'm Courtney Cook. And I'm Elizabeth Suttery. Today is Thursday, November 30th, 2017. We are starting off our show with your SRT meeting so we can get you out the door to where you need to be. FTA, your meeting in room 216. Prayer, your meeting in room 207. And Sunshine, your meeting in room 211. And heads up, juniors, your transcript audits will continue today with the PHS Guidance Department staff. So they ask you to please check your email to make sure you know about your scheduled appointment. This is where you'll be picking your classes for next year. Also a reminder that at 3.30 tonight, robotics, you guys will be meeting in room 141 after school. Recapping of our PTV trivia question from two weeks ago. We asked you, what did the famous Hollywood sign located in Los Angeles originally say? The winning answer, which was Hollywood Land, and congratulations to Mr. Hatcher's room who took the, home the winning prize, an enormous bag of popcorn. Shout out to PTV's videographer, Xandra Kurtz, for capturing this video for us. Also be sure to stay tuned for this week's trivia question coming up soon. Moving on to our trivia question from the week before our break. We asked you what president made Thanksgiving an annual holiday. The correct answer was Abraham Lincoln. Congratulations to Ms. Hull's SRT classroom for getting chosen by our random selector via email. Your tasty prize of soft chocolate chip cookies are on the way now, courtesy of our PTV crew. Stay tuned because a new trivia question will be asked towards the end of our show. Students who are in advanced Chinese are giving back to the community and are in a creative way by offering to teach you Chinese for free. If you are interested, classes will resume at the Plymouth Public Library this Saturday from 10 to 11 a.m. Students starting the hour-long class two weeks ago, and they will be back at it again on Saturday, December 2nd. They'll be reading Chinese stories and teaching the public how to write in Chinese in Laramore, room of the library. So stop on out and learn some Chinese for free. For more information, please visit our PTV at PHS website. On Saturday, December 16th, the Plymouth High School Student Council will hold their 2017 Christmas party for children in need at Plymouth High School. The students who are invited to the party range from five to nine years old. They are selected by the social workers from the five local elementary schools in Plymouth. The kids will be given a new toy that Santa gives them in hats, mittens, toothpaste, and other little trinkets. If you or your family would like to make a monetary donation towards this good cause or donate gifts for our little guests of honor who are ages five to nine years old, you can do so at Plymouth High School during business hours. If you have any questions, please feel free to stop by Karen Plotho's room, which is 111. The American Legion's High School Oratorical Contest is where students make up a speech about the U.S. Constitution and speak about some phrase on the Constitution for eight to 10 minutes. If this sounds like something you would like to compete in, there is still time for you to submit your entry, but you'll have to hurry because the deadline for entries is December 15th. The income passing area that you'll be competing against is students from LaPorte, Marshall, Elkhart, and St. Joseph counties. The comp competition is January and the winners will advance to the zone contest in February. And if you advance, you keep competing all the way to nationals in April. Visit our PTV at PHS website to find links for more information about the opportunity. Students, we have several job opportunities available for you. Payless Shoes is looking for a reliable worker. If you are interested, call Joan Brock at 574-936-7003. Ponderosa is looking for 10 new employees as well. If you are interested in more information, please see Mrs. Flynn right in the front of WSOI today. Parrot Veterinary Clinic is currently hiring kennel staff for evenings, weekends, and school breaks and holidays if you are interested. Please contact Kathy Wright at 574-936-2353. Papa John's in Culver is currently hiring all positions including kitchen help, cooks, pizza makers, people to answer the phone, dishwashers, delivery drivers if you are 18 years old. On the lunch menu today, we will be having chicken tenders, mashed potatoes with gravy, a dinner roll, and your choice from the fruit and veggie bar. We are back with a new episode of Guess That Teacher. PGV's multimedia journalists Megan Scott and Kiara Clements 
hit the halls to see which of you were able to guess a bizarre or unique fact about particular members our, of our PHS staff. Let's check out this episode. What teacher played on two sectional champion basketball teams? Uh, Mr. Singleton. No. Mr. Grindel. No. Mr. Johnson. Yes! <clears throat> what teacher is a champion pig showman? Mr. Michael? Yes. Which teacher has a son as an all-state quarterback? Coach Barron. Correct. What teacher tried out for a show on MTV? Um, Mrs. Cookie. No. Uh, <laughs> Mrs. Schmelz. Yes. What teacher is deaf in the left ear? Mrs. Reed. No. Mrs. Mercer. No. Mrs. Weaver? Yes. Yes! What teacher is a champion pig showman? Mr. Smith? No. Uh, Mr. Norman? No. Mr. Michael? Yes! Hope you enjoyed that fun segment. Before we switch to sports, we also hope you enjoy a commercial made by Junior C.C. Robinson reminding teachers about a cool opportunity to help promote IHSAA and Special Olympics. Hello everyone, my name is Cece Robinson and I am currently a junior at Plymouth High School. This summer I was nominated by Mr. Condon and Mr. Bench to be a part of the IHSAA Student Advisory Committee. After a long application process, I was chosen to be one of 18 students from around the state to represent over 160,000 student athletes in Indiana. We represent the IHSAA at different functions and state tournaments, but our biggest goal is to raise money and awareness for Special Olympics and earn our high school with the Champions Together Unified School Banner. Plymouth High School has never actually earned the banner, so I've made it my personal mission this year to not only get the banner, but meet a fundraising goal of $2,000 by the end of the year. That's where you guys come in. I know as teachers, one of your favorite things is having the privilege to wear jeans to school. So now is your chance. For only $10, all PCSE teachers and staff will be able to wear jeans for the school week of December 4th through the 8th. Please join me in making PCSE more inclusive and show your support of Special Olympics Indiana and Champions Together. Don't forget to bring your $10 on December 4th. Thank you all for your time. at what's lined up on our PTV Sports Rundown for tonight. At 5.30 p.m., the boys and girls swim team will be at Northridge, and the ninth grade girls basketball team will face Goshen in the auxiliary gym here at home. In the varsity gym at 6.15 p.m., the girls basketball team will face Tippy Valley. Then at 6.45 p.m., the ninth grade boys basketball team will face Goshen here at home in the auxiliary gym. Back by popular demand is our PTV One Minute One-on-One -on -one segment. This week, we will be shining the light on another Plymouth High School athlete. Let's take a look at who's in the one-on-one -on -one seat this week. I'm PTV's Josie Koontz, and today we are meeting up with Nate Patterson to do the PTV One Minute One-on-One. -on -one. Right, what is your favorite sport? Uh, definitely track. It's my favorite sport I play. <laughs> what is your favorite subject? Um, probably math. What is one sport you would never play? Um, water polo. How long have you gone to Plymouth schools? I came here my sophomore year. Is cereal soup? No. Do you have any pets? What are their names? 
Uh, yeah, I have, a, I have a dog named Shelby and another dog named Chelsea. Do you have any siblings? I have an older sister. Does she go to Plymouth High School? She does not. She goes to IU. Who is the funniest teacher in PHS? Um, probably Mr. Russ. Do you pack your lunch or eat school lunch? Eat school lunch. What college do you want to go to? Uh, I'm going to USC next year. What is your dream job? I don't, I don't really know yet. Come back next week for a PTV One Minute One-on-One -on -one with another PHS athlete. Notre Dame wrapped up their season last Saturday when they played Stanford. They won by a score of 38-20. to That brings the Irish to a 9-3 record for the year. We would like to thank Notre Dame for allowing us the privilege of covering the majority of the home games this season. Sandra Kurtz and Jacob Kowatch attended the last home game before break when Notre Dame took on Navy and won by the score of 24-17. to Jacob has a recap of that game. Let's take a look. The way you tackle the ball carrier, bending him back, was so important today because you're fighting for every yard. You know, moving the front, uh, not, not giving them consistency on, on the perimeter, um, and, and clearly uh, what we felt we wanted to do is, is not give them those big plays where it was clear they knew what they were going to get. The weather conditions weren't great. The wind was really blustery down on the field. Um, you know, we actually threw the ball pretty good today. Our kids played really hard. They really cared about uh, their teammates and wanting to win this football game. Um, I love the way they kept fighting, and we may not have won this game last year. It's just so satisfying to see those faces. You may not get them off the field tonight. They may have to leave the lights on because those kids don't want to leave. Lastly, it's time for one of the most exciting parts of our show, PTV Trivia Time. We have a question for all of you Brad Pitt fans. What is the first rule of Fight Club? If you know the answer, tell your SRT teacher to fire up their emails and submit your class answer to phsmarketing at plymouth.k12.in.us. Again, the trivia question is, what is the first rule of Fight Club? Good luck to everyone who participates, and remember the winning class is rewarded with a huge prize and a delightful visit from all of us here at PTV. This is all for this edition of PTV. We hope you enjoyed the show. I'm Elizabeth Suttery. And I'm Courtney Cook. See you next week, PHS. <laughs>